Hey guys, welcome back to Pops and Props. Today I will be opening up this parcel from K Dog and Fish. So let's get right into it. So today's parcel has a little bit of a theme, and I'm not going to tell you guys until I open this up for you guys to guess. So if you have a guess and you're right here in the video, make a guess down below and let me know what you think. But I'm gonna get this open carefully here. And then I'm gonna show off what's in the box. So let's get this box out of the way here and I'm going to start with the first pop. Now I'm actually going to take off the bubble wrap down here. So it's kind of a surprise to you guys. So it's kind of gonna be like a mystery box for you guys but I know what it is. So let me show you guys what it is. Boom. This is Spudnik from Friends. Now I'm really glad that I was able to pick up some of the pops from the Friends set. I was watching Friends the other day and I was like, you know, maybe I should grab some of these pops. So starting off with is Spudnik. I think it's Spudnik. No, it says Ross Geller, but I have a feeling it should say Spudnik because that's what he is dressed up as which is really interesting. I don't know if that's an error at all or something, but that's what the first fungal pop looks like. And of course, I almost forgot to show off the box for you guys. So there it is there. I'll just come around the side and then I will also show off the set on the back there so you can get an idea of what's actually in this set. And honestly, I think they did a great job with this pop. It definitely looks like Spudnik from the TV show. And Spudnik is the character that Ross Geller is actually dressed as. Now I think he has, um, I think it's a strainer on his head right there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it looks like a strainer or like some kitchen item. I'm not 100% sure what it is, but it's pretty darn cool. Well, you guys definitely know the theme of the box already. So I'm just gonna open this one up right here. And this one is Joey Tribbiani. Now this one looks really nice. It's got a little bit of a scratch on the top there, but you know, not bad, I won't complain. But look at that one there, guys. I love this outfit that Joey is wearing. This is in the show when he has a job as um, one of those perfume boys. I don't know what the name of it is, but he asks, what's the line? It's something for men. It's a specific kind of cologne. I'll put a clip right here for you guys to show it off. So guys, I couldn't find the clip, but what he says is Bijan for men? Bijan for men. And he does that a few times. And then later on in the episode, you see that he is wearing a full white cowboy suit. So I just wanted to explain the reference for you guys because I couldn't find the clip. Now back to your regular scheduled programming. But anyway, once again, this pop is really great. I love all the detail on his cowboy outfit. And you know, I bet that this hat weighs a ton because this box is kind of hefty. But it is a great looking pop. I love all the small details. It's just really nice. Now, as I'm opening the next pop, for some reason, I don't remember ordering this exact one. Um, I'm gonna have to go in and check my actual order. Um, for some reason, I don't remember putting this in my shopping cart, but it is an awesome pop nonetheless. And this is Chandler Bing in the Easter Bunny outfit. Now there is a, I think it's, I have to think about this for a sec. I think it's a WonderCon, Target WonderCon exclusive, which is flocked. But let me show off this one first. This one is really, really nice. I do love the outfit. I love the color. It looks exactly like him from the TV show. And if you were curious, I actually did pick up the WonderCon flocked Chandler Bing in Easter Bunny outfit. And I'm just gonna grab that for you guys. It's right over here. Oh, that was a bit awkward, but there it is, guys. I showed this off in Tuesday's video. This is Thursday, <laughs> I'm confusing myself, but this is another amazing Funko Pop. I think it makes a lot of sense that they made this one flocked. It just looks really great. And well, last but certainly not least is Monica Geller. And this is Monica in the, I think it's a Catwoman outfit, if I remember correctly but I'm just gonna take this out here and let me show this off to you guys. This is another awesome fungal pop. I love, honestly, 
One thing that I love about the set is that they actually did really different outfits from the TV show because if it was just the regular selves they would look really simple and they would be kind of boring to be honest. So I'm glad they went out of their way and did outfits from like the Halloween episodes. So Monica as Catwoman, I'm pretty sure. They did Chandler Bing in the Easter Bunny outfit, and then they also did Ross in the Spudnik outfit. And this pop is really great looking. Honestly, it's pretty simple, and I don't have that much to say about it. But once again, I like how it's a different costume from your usual Monica Geller. And I wanted to say one more thing. I actually really like how they went with blue for the box art. I just want to show that off one more time. I think that looks really, really nice. I don't know if there's a significance to the color blue in the TV show. I'm pretty sure there really isn't, but it's cool because they do have the outline of New York City in the back there and on the side. I just think that's a really nice touch. I just realized, guys, that my computer is making a weird noise in the background, so if you can hear it during today's video, I'm very sorry. Well, guys, this is the friend set that I have so far. I think it looks pretty darn awesome. I'm only missing Gunther, Rachel Green, um, and Phoebe Buffay. So that is actually the whole set for, I don't know which wave this is, it doesn't really say, but I'm getting pretty close to being done. And thanks again to K-Dog and Fish for literally being my only Funko Pop source that I buy Funko Pops off of. Um, I know there are lots of other places that I definitely should support, but K-Dog and Fish is local, they are Canadian, and they are based in Ontario, so if you guys haven't checked them out, I definitely recommend doing so. And well guys, that is it for today's video. I definitely enjoyed unboxing these Funko Pops, and it was kind of nice to see them up close because I hadn't seen them at all. As always guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to do those three things, like, comment, and subscribe, and if you have a minute, please share the video. Oh, and I almost forgot the saying, I'll see you guys in the next video.